Imagine a bird, but not just any bird. This one stands over four feet high, stalking the savannah with long, strong legs. Perched atop its head, a crown of long black feathers fans out like quill pens. This is the secretary bird, a creature as majestic as its name suggests. European settlers in the 18th century named it after their scribes who sported similar plumes. But don't let the dignified demeanor fool you. This bird is a predator with a gaze that could pierce the toughest hide and a kick powerful enough to break a snake's back. It's a remarkable combination of elegance and deadly efficiency, a true marvel of the African plains. The secretary bird is a testament to the incredible diversity of the natural world. The secretary bird is perfectly adapted to the vast open grasslands of the African savanna. From Sudan to South Africa, these birds make their home in sun-drenched landscapes where scattered trees offer respite from the heat. Unlike many birds of prey, the secretary bird prefers to keep its feet firmly planted on the ground. Its long legs elevate it above the tall grasses, giving it a clear view of its surroundings. This terrestrial lifestyle is unusual for a raptor, but the secretary bird has carved out a unique niche in the savanna ecosystem. The secretary bird is a true gourmand, with a menu that includes insects, lizards, small mammals, and even other birds. But it's particularly famous for its penchant for venomous snakes. Using its long legs and powerful feet, the secretary bird delivers swift, decisive stomps to its serpentine quarry. These blows disable the snake, breaking its back and preventing it from injecting its deadly venom. It's a dangerous dance, showcasing the secretary bird's mastery of its craft. This feathered serpent slayer is a true marvel of the savanna. While the secretary bird is a fierce predator, it also has a softer side during the breeding season. These monogamous birds form strong pair bonds that can last for several years. Imagine a pair of secretary birds, their long legs dancing across the savanna as they leap and bow to one another. They call back and forth, their voices a mix of croaks and whistles. Once paired, the birds build a large, sturdy nest high up in a tree, often using the same nest year after year. The female lays a clutch of two to three eggs, and both parents share the responsibility of incubating the eggs and caring for their young. The chicks grow quickly, and within a few months, they're ready to leave the nest and start exploring the savanna on their own. The secretary bird is a vital part of the delicate balance that keeps the savanna ecosystem thriving. As a top predator, it regulates prey populations, preventing any one species from becoming too dominant. But like many creatures, the secretary bird faces growing threats to its survival, including habitat loss and the illegal wildlife trade. Conservation organizations are working tirelessly to protect the secretary bird and its habitat, raising awareness and implementing strategies to ensure its long-term survival. Now, let's delve into some fascinating tidbits about this avian wonder. Record-breaking legs. The secretary bird holds the record for the longest legs of any bird of prey. These powerful limbs allow the bird to deliver kicks with a force of up to five times its body weight. A bird of many names in Africans, it's known as the secretary's foal, while in Swahili, it's called Andej Katibu, snake hunting superstars. The secretary bird's reputation as a snake slayer is well-deserved. These birds can kill and eat venomous snakes, making them valuable allies to farmers and ranchers. A voice like no other. Secretary birds communicate with a variety of croaks, whistles, and even a guttural rattling sound, a symbol of protection. In many African cultures, the secretary bird is seen as a symbol of good luck and protection. Its image adorns flags, stamps, and even coats of arms. Let us all do our part to ensure that this magnificent bird continues to grace the savannas of Africa for generations to come.